Yeah. BMX is a well-established sport that has been around since the 1970s. It is exhilarating, dangerous, and surprisingly enough, it is often against the law. This underground form of bike riding has been happening in the Northwest for decades. In recent years, we've documented a few of the best renegade BMX trails at their peak. These dirt jumps were built illegally and constructed without regard to rules and regulations in and around the Seattle area, very often on public property. These riders work countless hours under constant threat of fines, arrest, bulldozers. If these trails suddenly get torn down, the builders move on to a new location. Although defeated and distraught, this anger fuels motivation to search for new ground to build on. These riders' dirt sculptures are a monument to their passion for BMX. This is a glimpse into the Northwest Trail Builder scene. Kind of weird to see it empty like this without all the junk. We spent a lot of time out here in these woods. Circle A is what you see behind us, and we had BMX jumps here. We started digging here in 1992. Yeah. And uh, the city tore it down. I've been riding BMX since 82. I grew up a racer and then mainly got into trails and freestyle. I rode the first 5X games. I did all that, but then I kind of just got back into uh, screw contests, just ride with your friends and have fun. You'll see it all on the Dew Tour and like X Games or whatever, and you'll just see like uh, the dirt jumping contests. And it's so far from trails, it's ridiculous. Like we've competed since we were kids, and you know, it's it's just a time to go meet your boys, but it's not trails. It's not what we're about up here. You'd rather just ride trails like this with the boys and kick it the real way. Not in it for the glamour and the, the money, you know? It's just more of the, the real shit. It's tough because it's illegal. We don't own these areas and, you know, we definitely want to try to keep them, keep them alive for as long as we can and be cool and not try to, you know, cause a bunch of ruckus back here, or have a bunch of litter. Or, you know, draw attention to it and try to kind of keep it as, you know, the, the, the crew of good riders we allow to come back here, we're cool with. And even if you're a newcomer, yeah, if you come out here, you're going to help us dig. You know, if you're going to earn your stripes, basically, and, you know, become part of the family that way. We had over 70 jumps. It's a lot of hard work. I almost cried when they got tore down, but it took them two days with bulldozers to tear it down, so that's kind of a compliment in the aspect of they couldn't do it in one day. So. <laughs> tickets go I don't like them I've gotten one here for trespassing that cost me a bunch of money I think they should just let us be back here it's designated parkland anyway and we're making it a park the city's just pissed that we got to it first 
I do this for a living, like, you know, like, I'm a professional bike rider. This is what I do. And he's just like, you're just a criminal kid. I'm like, I'm not a kid. I'm 24 years old. And he's like, last time I fell on my bike, I was 10. And I was like, well, I'm 24. And I just, you know, like, they don't grasp the fact that we're out riding our bike, doing something positive, not fucking the town up. And like, they don't get it, you know? They just think we're little kids destroying shit. And it's not like that. Well, why would you want to go out there and build a bunch of jumps and possibly get hurt? Why would you want to go play basketball and possibly sprain your ankle? Same thing. For fun, you know, it's a good time. I mean, there's, every time you get injured, you're more upset about the fact that you're not going to be able to ride for a month or for three weeks or however long it takes to heal than you are about the pain of your shoulder going blown out or whatever it is, you know, like. We're all trail riders and this is what we do, so we're going to try to keep our our roots together the whole time, like, we don't sell out. <laughs> so there's a tube that uh, the water runs through from the freeway, and we uh, stole this hose, and we hook the hose up to the water system, and it drains into this bucket, and we water the jumps. We're out here in the woods because we, you know, we want to be at peace. We're trying to do our own thing. We're, we're not trying to create negative activity. We want to do something positive and feel a good vibe. They damaged the, the jumps, the ramps, in a way that makes it where we can't ride it. We, we, could, we could put our labor into repairing it and make it rideable, but then we risk further assault of the jumps. So at this point, our best bet is to keep a neutral stance and portray it as if we don't use this area at all, but maybe come back here and and use it carefully for for filming or for fun, and then leave no trace. You know, when a place gets torn down, they move on, and they're like, ah, fuck, whatever. We're gonna go to the next spot. We're gonna find some woods more secluded, more away from development, more away from suburbia and uh, try to just keep it going. And I think the trail riders really do unite. And, you know, it, it's, it's, it's cool. You know, we've got a good, uh, a good scene here and we're just kind of all thankful that we have it every day. I was here every single day. I would go to school and then come back and then just dig until it got dark every day for seven or eight years. And sometimes I would actually come here before I went to school and dig if I was working on a new line and I was really excited about getting it finished. I would come here before school and then drive to school and then come back and then dig and you know off and on digging and riding is pretty much what I do. Building Southwoods, building you know Circle 8, you know the, the list of places that have gone down you know in, in the last five or ten years you know it's 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 tough because you know we do put a lot of time into it but you know it, it, it's more than that it's a family of friends and every scene has them you know. Seth and Shovel and you know a lot of these guys have really really put in a lot of hours. We've got a lot of new jumps built up and you know it's awesome just seeing everybody out here uh, having a good time and flowing through the woods and you know just uh, chilling out on a beautiful Sunday. The city was using this as a dirt storage facility and that's its official title. It's not yet officially a BMX park. The city wanted to get the guys out of the woods but they said, okay, well, you can jump out here and don't jump back there. I was here when there was one jump down here 
Now we have about 25 jumps or more, and we haven't got any money or support to improve it, but a couple local riders didn't let that stop them. They came out here and over the past year put in countless man hours and worked it out with Craigslist to get 30 dump truck loads of perfect soil for BMX riding shipped into the course. They were a little bit concerned about the work being done and they were trying to regulate slash stop it. We pretty much managed it and basically told them we're done. Or at least we're not gonna haul any more dirt in. And for the city, it's still the same situation for them. They they consider it dirt storage facility and they're letting us have it, but they're being very clear not to support it, make a statement saying they support it. So you gotta work with what you got. Now there's less public lands to go out and build trails. You'll see, you know, now that we're older, backyard jumps are where it's at, you know, those won't get torn down. Back here at my house, we got some jumps. Kind of just built this to ride every single day here. Been plowed so many times that, you know, I got uh, sick of the city telling me where to build and what not to do. And, you know, this seems like the next best phase of getting it done and, and, and you can maybe, you know, not get caught. Untarp it, have some friends over to make you psyched, you know, so it's a dream come true. I feel like the local riders that took it on themselves to improve this park, despite having any support or permission from the city, they really deserve thanks for this and a pat on the back because their efforts have improved this park for everyone that's involved in the sport. BMX is what we do and it's part of who we are and I hope this continues for the community for a long time because I think that anyone that's involved in it can understand what a good use of time it is, like how positive it can be and what a lot of fun it is to catch airs on your bikes. Against all odds, the Northwest BMX riders continue to construct their trails. The builders' determination is a testament to their profound love of the sport, and they have been pushed further and further out of the Seattle area. The only legal BMX jumps in the greater Seattle area exist because of the dirt that was illegally dumped by the dedicated riders at Green Lake. However, this area is not an official BMX park. Instead, it is still officially sanctioned by the City of Seattle as the Dirt Storage Area. 